Released in 1925, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ is a classic film that has stood the test of time. It's not just a movie, it's an experience. You'll be surprised by the many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this film, so keep watching this video. Have you ever watched this epic? When was the first time you saw it? Share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this movie in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ is a 1925 movie known for its impressive size and interesting story. It is set in ancient Jerusalem during the time of Jesus Christ. The story follows Judah Ben-Hur, a rich prince betrayed by his childhood friend Masala, leading to his enslavement. As Ben-Hur seeks revenge against Masala, he also encounters Jesus Christ and undergoes a significant spiritual change. The movie beautifully shows the ancient Roman setting and the stunning landscapes of Judea. It includes exciting chariot races, detailed costumes, and large sets, giving viewers a glimpse into the historical grandeur of the Roman Empire. Key characters include Judah Ben-Hur, portrayed as a noble and brave hero seeking justice and redemption. Masala, his former friend turned opponent, represents the ambition and cruelty of the Roman Empire. Jesus Christ plays a crucial role offering forgiveness and salvation during the turbulent times. Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ was highly praised for its innovative cinematography and strong performances. The movie won several awards, including Oscars, and is considered a cinematic masterpiece that continues to connect with audiences worldwide. In the 1925 film Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, upcoming Hollywood stars Joan Crawford and Myrna Loy had small roles as extras in the exciting chariot race scenes. They played slave girls, adding more depth to the movie's characters. Crawford, especially, later became well known for mimicking celebrities at social events, which became one of her trademarks. These impersonations were well-crafted and flawlessly executed, entertaining people and helping her become a versatile performer. She had three notable impersonations that stood out, captivating audiences and contributing to her eventual rise to stardom. As Crawford's career progressed, she showcased her acting skills in various roles, from funny to serious, leaving a lasting impression on the big screen. Her commitment to acting and strong on-screen presence gained her recognition among her peers. Eventually, she became one of the 36 founders of the prestigious Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. In Hollywood history, Joan Crawford's role is still remembered by movie lovers around the world. Her journey from an uncredited extra to a founding member of an institution celebrating cinematic excellence shows her lasting influence on the industry. The story of her rise, connected with the epic narrative of Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, reminds us of the transformative power of movies and the strong spirit of those who shape its history. Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, released in 1925, holds a significant place in cinematic history. It's one of four films honored by the Library of Congress for its cultural and historical importance. Alongside works like Seventh Heaven and Sunrise, it's recognized for its lasting impact. The movie stars Douglas Fairbanks Jr., whose upbringing was marked by his father's departure when he was just five. Fairbanks Jr. rose to fame despite this early challenge. In 1959, Fairbanks Jr. met Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev during a luncheon at 20th Century Fox. This encounter led to an invitation for Fairbanks Jr. and his family to visit Moscow and Leningrad. However, when Fairbanks Jr. entertained Soviet dignitaries in Hollywood, he faced criticism from ultra-conservative columnist Hedda Hopper, who accused him of being soft on commis. Despite personal and political challenges, Fairbanks Jr. remains remembered for his contributions to cinema, particularly through films like Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ. Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, a 1925 movie, holds interesting familial connections within its cast. Notably, the sister-in-law of George Regez, George W. Letterer, and Louis Adlon played a role in the film. Additionally, Patricia Lake, wife of actor Arthur Lake, was revealed to be the child of Marion and William Randolph Hearst in 1993. Van Cleve, her child, was raised by Davy's sister Rose, always introduced as her niece, while Lake was presented as her nephew. Within the movie's cast, the lead actress had familial ties as well. She was the younger sister of actresses Rianne Davies and Rosemary Davies, adding a familial dynamic behind the scenes. These family connections, often not widely known, provide a glimpse into the personal lives of the individuals involved in bringing Ben, her a tale of the Christ to the screen. 
the movie becomes not just a cinematic piece, but a project intertwined with familial relationships, adding a unique layer to its production history. Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, a notable film, featured an iconic chariot scene filmed at the present-day intersection of La Chenega and Venice Boulevards in Los Angeles. The lead actor, separated from his wife Rocky in May 1951 due to his affair with Patricia Neal, reconciled with her in July 1954. He also starred in two movies based on novels by Ernest Hemingway, A Farewell to Arms, and For Whom the Bell Tolls. MGM took over the production of the movie Ben, Her A Tale of the Christ, when the company started in 1924. The film faced budget issues and production challenges, prompting a relocation from Italy to California. William Wyler, originally an assistant director for The Chariot Race, later directed the 1959 remake. The movie was silent, earning its lead an Oscar despite not speaking. The lead performed most of the stunts himself, leveraging his athleticism. However, some stunts were too risky, requiring a stuntman. These instances were evident in outtakes from another film, The Gaucho. In 1925, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, made its mark in movie history. The film is often mentioned in pop culture, including two nods in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. The opening song refers to Fay Ray and King Kong, comparing their situation to being stuck in a movie scene, echoing the film's famous moments. In the floor show scene, Frank mentions Fay Ray, emphasizing her delicate frame. Fay Ray, who played a memorable role, received a Lifetime Achievement Award at the 63rd Annual Academy Awards in 1991. Though unable to attend, she graciously accepted the award via a live satellite link from her Manhattan apartment. Angelica Houston introduced a film tribute, showing clips from Ray's notable works. Ray expressed gratitude on a large screen from her apartment amidst applause. Another notable figure linked to the film is Harold Lloyd. Despite losing two fingers in a prop bomb accident in 1919, he persevered in his acting career, using a glove and prosthetic device to conceal his injury. Lloyd's adaptability and dedication allowed him to perform stunts convincingly. In summary, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ from 1925 continues to be relevant in cinema and pop culture. The movie's impact and the cast's and crew's efforts make it celebrated and referenced in various ways. In the movie Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, a staged fire on a ship spiraled out of control, forcing armor-clad extras to leap into the water. There's debate about whether any were killed. Interestingly, this film served as inspiration for half of Superman's alter ego name, Clark Kent. In August 18, 2018, the movie was honored with a day celebrating its cinematic achievements during the TCM Summer Under the Stars. These events underscore the lasting impact and influence of Ben Hur, A Tale of the Christ, on both cinematic history and popular culture. Ben Hur, A Tale of the Christ from 1925 is an important movie in American history. It's silent and directed by Fred Niblo. People remember it for its huge size and cool scenes, especially the chariot race. Carol Lombard was a big deal in American movies. In 1999, the American Film Institute said she was the 23rd best female actor in American history. She made a big impact on movies. Harold Lloyd was a funny guy back then, but making people laugh wasn't easy. Lloyd and his writers spent a lot of time trying to come up with good jokes, Lombard was from different places like England, France, and Germany. That mix of backgrounds made her acting richer and more interesting. To sum up, Ben Hur, A Tale of the Christ is a cool old movie from 1925. Carol Lombard was awesome in movies, and Harold Lloyd worked hard to make people laugh. Lombard's background made her acting special.